We're getting a close up look at a first of its kind technology now running in the Denver Metro. A local water treatment plant saw a problem with wasted energy and turned it into real change. Denver 7's Danielle Kreuter takes us behind the scenes to show how their clean energy solution is lowering emissions and costs for customers. If you're like most people, you probably don't give a second thought to all of the stuff you flush down the toilet or rinse down your sink. We treat the water. But for the crew at South Platte Renew, it's business as usual. Over the course of a day, we turn it back into clean water that we discharge to the South Platte River. But in the processing of all of the stuff out of wastewater, it produces biogas, which is uh, gas comprised of both methane, carbon dioxide. What we used to do historically was we flared that methane gas into the atmosphere. Which got them thinking. How we could potentially capture that methane gas and reuse it. That's where this thing comes in. What is step one here? Because the natural gas that comes off of our process is, has contaminants and impurities in it. We actually clean it to a pipeline grade natural gas and then inject that directly into the Excel natural gas pipeline. They're also able to make more revenue by contributing the gas to the EPA's renewable natural gas program. The technology has now paid for itself, turning something a little gross into green energy. So it's 3,700 metric tons of carbon dioxide removed each year through the system. The way we like to put it is how many uh, miles it is offset for a car driving. And so we have offset 56 million car miles of carbon emissions since the beginning of this project. How far can you get with that? I think I've done the math. It's up to about between Earth and Venus. The technology was the first of its kind in Colorado, and it's now setting the stage for other utilities to follow. I think by taking this leading edge approach, uh, we are able to prove out that these systems do work and that they actually do generate revenue and, and can be a long term sustainable technology. In Inglewood, I'm Danielle Kreuter, Denver 7. Now that the project is making money, the 300,000 customers served by the company are likely to see an impact to their rates. The director tells us when rates would typically go up because of inflation or needed projects, this revenue will offset that increase and keep those rates a little lower.